It's, it means season in, in, in French. Um, I think it has something to do with it you know, being drank during a certain season. But that's, that's all that word means. We don't. We haven't yet. Um, actually, I've got a, a, a friend in Spain that's in market. He wants like fries right here. I'm trying to get something to break up. Get him some of our beer to try and sell to his patrons. As of right now, I don't think so. Um, even like on the coasts and all that, like they'll ship um, a few special orders out there to, to certain bars and restaurants, but there's no like real distribution out that way. It's mostly, you know, in the adjacent states around here. And about 85 or 90 percent of the beer is drank in the metro area. That's good beer. Well, I know you can find it in Kansas now, of all places, because a friend of mine in Kansas City always tells me he's going to be drinking beer from the real brewery in St. Louis. <laughs> <laughs> well, they got Boulevard out there, too, in KC. Yes. Well, yeah, I mean, but we got a pretty good relationship with them. Most of the other brewers around here, we got a good relationship with them. Uh, New Albanian and O'Fallon um, and, and us um, often collaborate on badges. And yeah, the brewers get together and they make some just funky, funky beers that have like, like, smoked malts in them and stuff. It's just really crazy stuff. Now, is New Albanian the one outside of Louisville, Kentucky yeah, that's, that's also Rich O's? Yeah. Alright, I'll start this one in the back. Mm-hmm. We got two already. This is half of ice and this is unfiltered. Um, it's a uh, lighter and sweeter beer. Uh, very little in the way of uh, hop bitters. That's a German style half of ice and is. This particular version is an American wheat ale. It's a kind of a American innovation. It's a little bit uh, a little bit cleaner tasting than the, the Bavarian variety. What's that? I can't just serve you. I can let you try something. I do have a bar on. Two, I think as many as two, because they'll start one in the mash tun, and then once that gets into the brew pet kettle, they can actually start another one. Um, but uh, yeah, generally you're, you're talking a small number that are going through the, the brewing stages. But in the fermentation tank, there's a bunch of a back there. So once the beer gets into the tank, or the word rather, um, you know, you can start on another one and make a completely different style and put it in a different tank. How many, can you do that process in one day? Before you yeah, sure. We'll, we'll do maybe, uh, on a heavy brewing day, we'll do like four batches. And that's when you've got a guy that's working basically third shift. He gets here really early in the morning. Um, then you have another guy coming in midday, another guy coming in in the afternoon, and then a, a, a guy will come in and work till you know, one in the morning. Now, a, few, a couple months ago, I toured the Coke and Dr. Pepper bottler in Springfield, Missouri, and yeah. they said they said that it, whenever they switched from one line of soda to another, they had to stop production for anywhere between two and five hours to scrub down the tanks and everything. Yeah. Do you have to do that as well when you go from brewing one to the other? Yeah, go ahead. It's got works on the bottle. Wow. <laughs> talking about bottling or are you talking about brewing? Both. Both. Brewing, yes, always. Um, which is normally why we only brew one or two types of beer in a day, because it is a long process. Mm -hmm. Bottling, yes and no. Kind of depends. Um, like we do 
things like that, revise the or the pedal, things that aren't super strong flavored beers. You can kind of just kind of just flush the lines out real quick and keep on going. You don't get a different beers. So like we do the APA. Yeah. Because it is dry hop and it does have a very strong flavor to it. It takes about 20, 30 minutes, sometimes an hour to go through completely to a real thorough flush of everything. Okay. Okay, cool. Thank you. What's up? Nothing. I was going to see how you are. Doing good. Make sure everything's going good. 